Hi there, this is Ross at Wood Fire Power. A little bit of an update on the construction of the personal media aquaponic system. Uh, in this update, I'm going to show you the wood frame structure that I've added to increase the strength of the hoop house. You can kind of see them through the plastic. There's a framed wall on each end and another framed uh, truss sort of a thing in the middle. And then the other thing I'm going to show you is how we secured the plastic this time. Um, our very much larger hoop house got blown to smithereens by a really big storm and so we're securing this one um, extra well. So uh, let me climb on inside. So we started the end wall construction with a piece of pressure treated wood and then we I first built this ribbon so it's just two by six and it comes up and it butts these two by sixes so we um, we put these two by sixes one on this side, another one on that side, all the way down, and another one up on the top. So those were the first things to go up with these clips. And then I cut these boards to um, basically trim them or create a, a ribbon all the way around and then after that we cut these boards in which just again go from the ground up to here and where the angles are weird where they join I just scribed them all and cut them to fit and then ran screws down in from above as well as underneath and I don't know if you can see up there but I cut in a um, board horizontally there as well and then later because I'm going to frame a vent on one side and a door on the other side I added this vertical two by here. So that's how those went. And then um, I repeated that same process here in the middle and again on the end. Here in the middle I added a board just to tie the three boards together, but I didn't run the casing all the way around and instead I added a little bit of a horizontal truss there. Now when I try to shake the whole greenhouse pulling really hard it hardly moves at all. So very secure. Wish we'd done this over at the other place. Then um, on this end I'm doing the same thing. I'm not finished up here but I'll I will box this in. Um, I haven't done it yet because I'm trying to uh, lay out for the um, vent on this end and a door sorting out between a couple of options. Okay now the next thing I want to show you is how we secured the plastic. It's um, very nice and tight and so let me show you the way we did that okay so I set this up to show you what we did to secure the plastic so on the outside of the greenhouse the if if that way is up to the top and that way is down to the ground we had the two by six um, ribbons these guys running all the way so the plastic is just laying over the top 
hanging down and we haven't secured it at all. The first thing we did was to get the plastic all aligned and then we secured a, a piece of one by over the top of the plastic all the way down the length. Then after that was secured all the way down the length, now the plastic's pinched pretty tightly. So we pulled the plastic up and it's hard to shoot and do this at the same time. But we um, put a second one by two over the top. So now that pinches it sort of like a, when you're tightening a helmet on a motorcycle with the two rings or a belt loop that just has the two rings. And so then again we um, screwed that down. And then after that the end of the plastic can just hang down and the top is secured. So um, here's the end that's free to move and that will get confined between some uh, cord that'll go up and down and give it a space to live so that it can't really freely fly open but also so that in the spring and summertime you'll be able to open this up. I mean here it's a winter day middle of December and I just open this a little bit and I really feel the cold air rushing in otherwise with the sun out it's really warm in here. So now if I uh, bend out here on the outside um, Oh, well this is actually convenient. I haven't put the second board on this side yet. Um, so here you can see the first board, how we did it. And then what I'll do next is pull the plastic up. Like that. And pinch a second board right in there and attach that. And then with that, the plastic is super tightly attached and doesn't want to move. Um, I can show you over here how that turned out, because on this side, it's all done. So here you can see the plastic is free down below and it's going, um, it's hanging down. The first board secures it and then it wraps up and over and the second board secures that and then it's all um, taut. That gets it um, pretty much as tight as you want. <clears throat> 